I've never listened to Pat McAfee. I've never had any interest in listening to Pat McAfee. Right? He seems to produce the kind of low IQ shows that uh, don't intrigue me. On all the smoke, after the Kimmel smear but before the Sandy Hook nonsense, McAfee shared that he'd lost sleep over his role in the Rogers saga, saying, maybe I am fucking this up completely. But he also offered a novel defense. Yeah, you want to be a powerful live streamer? Right, look to Destiny. He doesn't just share information. He doesn't just share what he's thinking and feeling, but he shares what he's thinking and feeling at the time. He's incredibly open. And so to be an effective uh, radio host, uh, talk radio host, or a live streamer, or a podcaster, you have to be willing to share all sorts of you know, vulnerable things. And that's what Pat McAfee does. Right? That is the price for connecting with an audience is that you share things that normally people would keep to themselves, right? So you can share something publicly that's very sensitive to you. And that doesn't mean that everyone should just be entitled to bring it up publicly and uh, castigate you for it, right? It's still a sensitive thing, right? When people share sensitive things publicly, it doesn't cease to be sensitive, right? You don't then have an all access pass to, you know, mock or belittle someone for sharing something they've struggled over or something they've regretted. Which is that his relationship with Rogers had enabled him to tease out a more honest and complete portrait of a historic figure in sports. Whenever there's documentaries made about Aaron Rodgers, they are going to use so much of our show, he said. Is that not journalism? No, it is not. Right, it's not journalism, but it certainly can contribute to journalism. Journalism requires an active pursuit of the truth.